Hello, we're back with a, another episode of Adam Lost to Memories. And you may have remembered in the last video that we got stuck and uh, we tried to rotate this valve that was supposed to open a gate um, and then that never happened. So anyway, I contacted the developer and um, he had been working on some bugs and I think over 50 bugs had been fixed. Now, that does sound like it's a lot, but as you probably remember from the last video, it was incredibly polished, even for, for that sort of stuff. So um, I just wanted to say thank you for the developer for getting that back and dusted so quickly. Now, a lot of stuff has changed, even from my initial boot up. Um, there's more visual prompts on there. So we've got E to rotate now. The game has been noticeably improved in terms of the gamma. Uh, it looks a lot brighter. And uh, on top of that, um, everything just looks and runs a little bit more smoother. Now, I noticed on my cam software when I was recording that we were getting uh, very high levels of GPU uh, usage on it. So that all seems to have been subsided as well. Now, Adam Lost Memories can be downloaded from itch.io. If you want to check out the demo, you can do as well. You can also support the developer directly through itch.io if you want to donate and receive a copy of the game and then all future updates as well. I think it's an $800 goal. He's doing quite well so far, and uh, I'm very glad to see that because this, as I said in my previous video, was one of those uh, games that you know were really, really doing quite well. So without further ado, let's get into Part two. Hmm. Now, if you remember back there, there was this creature and it was stalking us. something standing there. So let's go through here. Oh, so in case you were wondering how I got the door open, um, you actually start with uh, an extra set of bolt cutters uh, just shown there. So um, just in case you miss them on your first playthrough, you'll be fine. So you use bolt cutters on the door. Now, we probably couldn't really see them before because, as I mentioned, the gamma has been increased. So a lot of those um, issues had been rectified. Oh, okay, so there's the warehouse that we came through not that long ago. Spooky, spooky. The scope and design of this level is really good, you know. It's and like I said, it feels a lot smoother. Like I'm not getting any of that sort of like lag. So I know we had to sort of like turn on the power as well. Even the lighting is really good in this game, like noticeably better. What was that? The environments are huge and there's like a lot going on. You've got like the fan over there. Got water dripping. Lights flickering. It's very well done. Now, I don't want this to be one of those games where I sort of like activate something and then I gotta run for my life. I would really hate it to be that kind of game. Just wanna make sure I've got all my exits covered. What is this? Oh yeah, they still got that jump thing though, like when you jump for the first time, you take damage. I don't know if that's something you can sort out, but you know, um, just 
just a little bit confusing. Oh, okay, so we've got a screwdriver. Very surreal setting. Now, I like this green block. No water physics. Oh well, still pretty good. See, I keep thinking like there's one of those, that creature. Like, when I first saw it peering around the corner at me, and I freaked out. I keep feeling like it's there. Like, watch me. And the contrast when these settings change. Bye bye. Down we go. What was that? Mm. I swear something was on that ceiling. You're not going to scare me, are you? I'm not in the mood to be scared. <laughs> the ambient noises are so good. Okay. Snake. No, 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 goodbye. I'm gonna go back this way. Not interested, you can go away. What is it with people these days? Climbing on the ceiling. Who do you think you are? It's a noise, okay. Okay. You just like scrambling around on the ceiling. Okay, so I'll tell you how we're gonna do this. You stay on the ceiling, I will stay on the floor, everybody's happy. And in fact, I'll give you a little bit more room. I will crouch. Please do not scare me, that is all I ask. Red lights, red means danger creature also went that way. Please do not scare me. I did nothing to you. Oh god. He is really red down there. He is really red. So that is really danger. Really, really danger. Please stay where you are. Do not get me. Ah! God, that's just a machine. Oh dear. I do these little weird things to keep myself sane. Scratch my nose. Or insane. Part of me just wants to run. And part of me wants to just take it. I swear I can hear something. 
my god, I'm losing my sanity. Let's walk backwards. <laughs> so we can't see it. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Walking backwards. Why is the chair gotta be there? I don't want to turn around, don't 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 turn around, okay, good. Backwards to the chair. Okay, now I've picked up the crank. Now I'm going to lift my mouse up to meet you eye level. If you are there, Please do not jump scare me. Thank you. Now, we are going to walk backwards again. Because I do not want to see your ugly face and your big bald head. Please do not scare me. I have done nothing to you. Please do not scare me. You're behind me, aren't you? Run, 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 run! I'm sorry I stole your crank. Whew. See? Walking backwards. <laughs> nah, you'll probably be in here. Well, it actually was it anyway. Handle. What is this again? A small box of nails. Okay. So I guess we got to go down to that place. Hmm. I still think you'll dodge. So yeah, I think we've got to go down there. Wish we could just jump. the guys can hear that but it's like this what the fuck was that why am I going funny like what what is that 
something after me, or what? I can, like, hear, like, a... assuming we go back to that big iron door and we use that got the RGB power coming red, white and blue and a bit of green prepare for jump scare So we've only got to run around this bridge, get through that door. You can do it, Aaron. You can do it. Not paying you any attention. I don't remember closing that door. So I don't remember leaving that thing back down there. Let's call it. we did it the first early access version has come to its end but is this a trailer or oh shit no it's me I have oh I'm actually getting to control that for a bit this is really cool more so for the next few seconds you get to experience some of it ah terror in my Well, 
that was soaked behind there. June 22nd, 29 for the second part, 2019. Car factory in the end of the day. I have almost no time and energy to get this game together. Ah. Oh. Well, Adam, I, I wish you the best of luck with this. I mean, I've really enjoyed playing this, you know. It's um, I, it's like on par with some AAA releases. It's like really good. Like your... Um, your knowledge and uh, experience around this sort of thing, like in terms of the, the engine that you're using is, is clearly paying off. Um, I'm, I'm going to support this. I'm, I'm actually going to go to itch now. And I think I'm, I'm going to donate you some money for this because I, I really want to see more. And um, I really thank you for the email that you've sent me and asking me to retry this because you've clearly made some massive improvements since the first one. And um what can I say? It's it's just it's phenomenal. It's really good. It's very scary. It's very tense, and you know, um, I, I honestly want to be part of this with you. So consider me uh, a supporter of this project, and I look forward to more things to come. Um, if you guys want to check this out, I'll have links to everything in the description so you too can check it out. If you want to support Adam, again, go to the itch.io page, which I will link up here, and uh, you can check it out for yourself. So yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, the completion of um, Lost Memories. <clears throat> if you like the video, please, would you mind subscribing to the channel? It helps us out a lot. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and also putting a comment in the description to say what your favorite part was. And if there's anything else you would like to see us play, please put that down below also and we will get round to it. But for now... <clears throat> This has been part two of Lost Memories, and this has been Aaron from the Brothers Grimm. Goodbye. Smash the like button.